Hi everyone, this is Melanie, my husband Neil, and our son Decker. Join our family as we restore our ferro-cement schooner Kiva, journey around Vancouver Island, and get ready to explore the world. There's the uh, damage. Neil sanded it all down, ground it out the best we could, uh, washed it with water, spray water, and now we're going to um, put a coat of S1 um, from Systems 3 S1 Epoxy, Clear Penetrating Epoxy. This stuff is amazing. We use it quite a bit. And then Quick Fair, which is like a epoxy, it's an epoxy putty. So we'll smooth it on and you can sand it. Oh, and Yep, stinks just like I remember. <laughs> Woo! Mama. We haven't been on the internet much. We haven't done very many shows lately because we've had a lot of family things going on. Okay, so 50, so I need 100. This is not easy to pour sitting in a dinghy. That's pretty close. It's a little over. Oh well, let's give it a shot. I figured it was a perfect time to find any damages that we didn't know about. Yeah, so um, give it a good, here look in the camera, give it a really good stir because it's two separate epoxies. You got one eternity later. And seriously, pay the money for these weird, these little buckets with all the measurements on the side. Totally worth a dollar fifty or two dollars or whatever it is. Makes life so much easier. Water. We have an up and coming hydraulic anchor winch video. Uh, we're trying to get caught up on some of our videos from hey, previous. Take a doggy. To a doggy. Uh, she's, big, right, she's right in front of you. A big dog. Goofball. Watching us to see what we're doing down here. Laughing at us. It's a constant battle to not have her jump in the dinghy. Yes, even from that height. It's like having a kangaroo on board. For anyone who's thinking that you can just be on the water and do your own work, well, you totally can, but it takes gymnastics that you never knew you had to do. We have been doing this for 17 years. We're fairly experienced, but... On um, what not to do. Oh, <laughs> yeah, and, and some days are better than others. basically painted on. It's pretty watery. Fairly thin. But it's important to get it in and all the cracks and everywhere as much as possible. Do a bigger spot than you need. Yeah, too. that's true too. Do a bigger spot than you need. There's and like a there's a big crack here and here. So I'm trying to drip it into there. Uh, this is from running over Bay liner. Take basically cutting a bay liner in half, like a 50 foot bay liner in half, and sinking it, and then sinking, hitting uh, two or three other boats, and then sinking those. This is the damage, and there's a bit of damage up on the very, very uh, by the bowsprit. To paint it in, you see all the. I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah, I'll paint it. Yeah, show them the dinghy. All this paint inside of our dinghy. Paint. 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 <laughs> we try, you know, you scrape it off the best you can. Paint everywhere. You put it in the garbage bag. You do your best. But I'll have to come out and back in this out. Yeah, but it it's a mess. And we're trying not to let it get in the water. Yeah. Because we really don't want that. Step. Okay. Uh, this is tacky. It's been how long do you think it's been? Like five, five minutes. Five minutes, roughly. Five seven minutes. 
So next is the Systems 3 Quick Fair. It's sandable epoxy fairing putty. Um, awesome stuff. It's one container is white, one's kind of a red color. You mix them together and it turns pink on your board and that's how you know it's all mixed together. Um, sandable in three hours. No, this is not, we're not being paid. Although I, Systems 3, if you're listening, I wouldn't mind some free buckets of this stuff. Um, <laughs> Hey, I'm not going to turn down free product, man. Non-promotional. No, we did not. This, So this has been sitting inside the boat for a year. The winter. Basically the winter. That's but, the... Yeah, the winter. This is part A. So mix... A gob. Yeah. Now remember, you're going to get double the volume when you're done mixing it. So... This hasn't been touched in all winter. And hey, little dog fur just adds a texture. You'll sand out. <laughs> just, you know, think of it like insulation fibers. Take a, a gob. I and think then, we went through nine of these trying no, to- No, I bought a big one. I bought, we ended up, these are the small size, you can buy a big one. Oh yeah, we bought one big one, which yeah. is equal to four. Yeah, and then I'd use a different putty. Can I have that other putty knife? Because this is the hardener, so if you mix the same knife into here, this whole bucket is going to go off. So, let's see. This stuff is white. That look about equal? That's a huge gob, but yeah, that'll work. I think that looks about equal. Can I get it on the board? Yeah. On the ding. So you scrape it on the board. <laughs> it's messy. Yes, You're I'm getting wearing more in the dinghy than you are on the board. Stuff at you. I don't see you doing this. Uh, I was going to do this, but I was told that she is the professional and I'm only... Yes, the... I'm the one who did all the haul when we hauled out, so you just be quiet. I Mister. do all the big work, she does all the easy work. Oh, right! There's language I could use for you, except we're going to be on TV. You'll get demonetized. Oh, right, you have to be monetized You have to be monetized for... first to get suspended. <laughs> okay. Lid back on. These YouTube videos were done for our family and friends and our followers. People who want to know about living on a, on the ocean <clears> and on but, a ferro boat. But please feel free to like and subscribe anytime. Yeah, okay, so film the... Your point. I am. Uh, look like you're pointing up to the sky. No, it's not. It's okay. pointed right at your hand. Okay. So you can mix. see how it's turning pink. I mean, it was. It, it turns a lighter color it's pink. It's going a different shade of pink, and the yeah. white is disappearing. Yeah. Don't be afraid. When I first started with this, I was like, "Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. What if it explodes?" It doesn't explode. It just worse. It happens is it hardens up faster than what you can deal with. And then you, the board goes to the garbage later. Yeah. But it lasts pretty long on the board, actually. You gotta really mix it up. Try and get all the... <sighs> equal amounts. You don't wanna... I mean, it's not crazy expensive in the compared to other marine products, but it's not cheap. So, you know, do the best you can. Okie dokie. You got a few runs there, but it's gonna have to live. Yeah, and now I can't do much to help you here. No, you're fine. Now we schmoosh. Uh, kind of like wood putty or anything else. You just work it in. Oopsies. You might not get all in the first smushing either. You might no. have to. A few. You might have to let it dry a few times, come yeah. back. I'd love to figure out how to work it right into that crack, but that's not so easy. Well, you'd have to use your end of it, put it in there, and then push it in with the, the end.
yeah, see, it's when it starts catching on itself like that, you gotta kind of leave it, and let it dry, and come back in a few hours. I gotta do the bottom. Of it. Sorry, bad camera. Yes, people, this is not easy to do in a dinghy while you're floating. But we're showing that it can be done. <laughs> it can now. be done. We've done most of our maintenance over the years from a dinghy floating around tied to various things. It's, quite frankly, who can afford to haul out or, or do all the work you need to do in one haul out? We can't.